Hey folks, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains, downstairs with Howard Zane, and uh, I was ready to leave, but I uh, caught my eye of these doodle bugs. Now, these are brass imports by Overland, and I have HO and O scale trains, and so does Howard. And we've run this little guy, the HO version, on Howard's layout. We've got a video of it running the layout. And then I said, you know, Howard, tell me about this big O scale one. And uh, I said it was quite rare, so Howard is sitting here. He can tell us about both these doodle bugs. Well, it's, uh, the, the reported by Overland probably 20 years ago. I don't know where the name doodle bug came from because in Georgia and South Carolina and parts of Alabama, a doodle bug does exist. Mm -hmm. The real name is called an ant lion. <laughs> and ant what lion. they do, they're ugly okay, little buggers, and I use the word bugger because they are bugs. They will burrow into the ground pretty deep like about three or four inches and wait for their meal just to drop in wow. lazy bastards wow <laughs> that's, but, a, that's a doodle bug yes As a matter of fact there was an old time music group called the georgia uh whack hammers or swack hammers or whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, i can't remember georgia whatever I, it was I, and they had a tune called the doodle bug song oh it well was mainly for kids we play it every once in a while at concerts mm -hmm. i hate the damn thing but sandy loves it so, the kids the kids love it mm -hmm. We did a video of this thing a while back, and somebody s called this a swack hammer. No, it's not a swack hammer. It's a doodle bug. A doodle bug, yeah. Now, and these, uh, now this one I got, that that was, uh, I believe that was painted by Gwyn Birch, who did a lot of the work for Overland. But I'm not sure, I'm only guessing, because Birch did a lot of Overland's custom painting. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here I painted, and uh, I don't recommend doing it if you have a weak heart. Right. Or if you have a pettish, uh, a patchy. What do you call it? A, a fantasy to uh, blow up and throw things through the window. Mm. Oh my God! Because these decals came from my kind of supplier, I think O and W shops mm -hmm. made the decals. Uh, Ted's, uh, can't remember his name, but that it, uh, it's a bear. Mm. And these came undecorated. Uh, these came undecorated, unpainted actually. Unpainted. Mm. And you put the figures in. Oh yeah, that's pretty easy. Wow. This, I think this, uh, no, there's no interior. Yeah, yeah. there's no no yeah. interior on this O scale one. I did nothing to that except. Sign the check. Mm. And it's interesting size wise because O scale is like what, four times the volume of HO? Yes, so double the size, four times the volume. Mm. And I'm just going to just gently kind of, uh, mm. since I'm the cameraman here, show you the. I can hold the thing up. Right? Yeah, let, let's hold them near each other so people can get an idea. You get my gorgeous face. Yes. And my ponytail. Yeah, it is. It has gotten a little bigger, Howard. Yeah, I'm not going to make a comment on that, but <laughs> I did yesterday. <laughs> Hold it close to the O scale one, so we can. See, look at. See, look at that, folks. Isn't that cool? You know, that's just cool as hell. Mm. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, but pretty cool. What I like is John Allen used to run a doodle bug on his Gorian defeated. That was really a, like a freelance doodle bug, I guess. Well, the Erie would actually run the. Sometimes would pull up to two cars. Mm -hmm. It didn't have much more power. And uh, as uh, things got expensive, it's one way to cut costs down because the ridership became lower and lower as the interstate became longer and longer. Right. So uh, that was a problem. Was a problem. Well, call it progress? No, it's not progress. Yes. It's a change. Well, folks, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, to see more of the channel, you can go into my playlist and you can see layout visits, you can see Andre runs, episodes running brass trains, you can see episodes of Howard, custom building, me as an apprentice, custom building with Howard, all the goodies, and I'll be attending the O-Scale 2-Rail train show in Strasbourg next Saturday, which I believe is the 19th or the 20th, I'm not sure, but it's the 19th, it's the 19th in Pennsylvania. And you can bet your uh, bubblegum shoes that uh, mm. I'll be looking for one of this these. Is the 20th. 20th. I'll be looking for one of these. And this beautiful O scale bridge that Howard Scratch built kind of is a, a holder for it. Well, Th that was for my client who passed away, unfortunately, out in Colorado. Oh, it was? Yeah, I never got a chance to deliver it. Mm. Oh, it's, it's too bad. It's beautiful. I kept it. it doesn't, I've got to kind of train uh, these. Should line up a little better, but we're mm -hmm. not going to worry about that. Now these little, see, we use uh, rivet plates now, but these are rivet rivet heads. Real rivet heads. And there's two ways you can put those on. You can cut the stem off and just put it on with white glue, uh -huh. a pair of tweezers, 
or you can drill a hole. Uh, here I drill the hole because it's more stable. Wow. Now sometimes if you glue it, it's going to move unless you hold it mm -hmm. in place for a period of time. Wow. Well, Howard, thanks for telling us a little about doodle bugs. Ah, oh, listen, I'm all full of knowledge. All nobody, right. Nobody gives a damn about it. <laughs> <laughs> Here I got Bug, Bug Howard Zane. Thanks for watching.